step up to its digital SLR, you'll find yourself buying a lot of extras. And if you're not careful, you could easily spend almost as much on those as you did for the camera. So here with some helpful tips on accessorizing your digital SLR is Techzilla's producer, Roger. Yeah, welcome. welcome. Thank you for having me on my show. Hey, all right, so what are the must-have accessories for the digital SLR owner out there? All right, top, you know, top of the list are extra batteries. Must and uh, memory cards. Okay. Uh, because when you're doing Disneyland, you're doing Disney World, you might not always have access to a, a power plug so you can charge up your battery. And sometimes you're gonna run out of space on your memory card and it's always nice to have a backup. Good deal. All right, now if, uh, if you do have a camera or say like a flash that uses double or, or triple A batteries, get rechargeable batteries because in the long run it saves you more money. Just get a couple of sets. I use double uh, A rechargeables for my point and shoot as well. In my case, in, in my case, I actually went with a third party called Quantum that does uh, rechargeable batteries specifically for flashes. Cost me about a hundred bucks, another thirty-five dollars for the cable. But you know what? I'm going to save money versus buying double A batteries every time I go out and shoot. How many? Do you have any idea how many flashes you get out of a pack like that? Suppose I get 160. Pretty good. More, uh, 160 if I use it continuously. Um, it, it varies, but. It, maybe three times as many as I would with uh, a normal set of AA batteries. Nice. All right, next is cleaning supplies. In this case, a air blower and microfiber cloth. That looks like a bomb. It is Johto's Rocket Pod, okay. and you basically use it to, to blow air. Now, the important reason why you want one of these instead of just kind of blowing on something, especially like a camera sensor, is when you blow, you spit. Ah. And in my case, I spit into the middle of my camera, and it kind of fouled up the sensor, and it took me a couple hours to clean it out. I should have used this instead of just going. All right, next, a tripod. Whether or not you shoot with uh, shoot with the steadiest hands in the world, or you shoot at night or in the broad daylight, so it's good to have one of these. If you need to get a shot that requires absolute rock solid stability, you're not going to beat a tripod. You can try doing you know the mime thing and holding it, but you know when it when it comes to low light photography and you want to shoot you know a person or, or a subject matter, don't want any motion. If this is just too much for the the typical shooter on a trip, say, would a monopod work, you think, as well? Just a single leg, at least, I, to provide some stability? I've used a monopod, and I've used it successfully. You just have to kind of learn how to use it, you know, how to kind of frame your body when you hold on to a camera with a monopod so it doesn't wiggle too much. But either of those are great um, options. This is a little more expensive than your traditional tripod. You can spend about 20, 25 bucks at a Target or, or something. They could always put a digital video camera on there too if you already own one. Yeah, they're, they're, they're dual purpose. Anything that will attach to the yellow uh, screw mount will affix to that. Even those little uh, um, flip cams, you know, those little. Uh, and like you mentioned too, night shooting is where I really need it. If you're shooting without a flash, you really need to hold it steady in. Tripods are the best for that. And even group photos where you have to be in it, and you set it up on the tripod, set the timer, run around. Good deal. All right. Bags. Having an adequate bag, whether it's a small bag like this uh, uh, Tamarack Velocity 6 or this Kata 467i photo backpack, nice. having an actual bag that cradles your camera in a padded kind of condition is good because you might want, you, a lot of people think that you can cram these in your backpack, they'll be fine. You know, I did that for a while. And I actually did scratch up a couple of filters that way um, and also chipped my older camera that way. And it just makes more sense to have something that's small that you can stuff into a larger backpack that you already have or just get a brand new backpack that accepts, for example, this one accepts a laptop um, as well oh, as you know, other items like you know, sandwiches, books. You know, all the normal stuff you would carry in your backpack, iPod, and still have enough room at the bottom to hold all my SLR accessories, including extra lenses, batteries, and More stuff like, like that. More of like a portable photo studio versus, say, your, just your travel bag, your day bag, where you exactly. just, you know what, I know everything I need is in here, I can take it and run. Exactly. Um, another thing I recommend is if you plan on doing a lot of photography indoors and at night, I suggest you pick up an external flash. These are kind of pricey, um, but they're well worth it. The flash on the camera can only go so far because it's limited in range due to the fact that it needs to stay fixed on your camera um, and not to increase the cost of the camera. But these are so much more flexible. So you want to find one that is both tiltable and you can pivot as well. So you can kind of do the bounce light off the ceiling. What's the purpose of your uh, taped on sheet of paper? So this is my one pet peeve with flashes. There's a lot of guys out there 
uh, Stofen and a few others I won't mention, um, that try to sell you a big chunk of plastic that fits on your flash to kind of diffuse it. Oh, okay. Um, unfortunately, when you bounce a flash like this and you shoot into a giant plastic goldfish bowl, you're shooting the light 360 degrees. You're basically wasting light this way because it's not being used. So you can get a very similar effect by taping on a white sheet of paper around the flash in its bounce condition. And the light will still bounce off the ceiling, but it's also reflecting off this. So you get a more even filled out flash. Yeah, good um, tip. I'm not saying that those don't work, but you can get the same effect without having to pay 30 to 100 bucks for this. Experiment with, uh, I don't know, a couple cents worth of tape and paper. Uh, you can even cut like one of those plastic spray bottles that you get at like uh, Costco, you know, to, to fill with cleaning solution. Cut that and stick it on top and do Heresy. the same thing. But yes, I hear you what You know what? Saying. It looks ghetto, but it works and it's <laughs> cheap. Awesome. All right. Final thing. If you're really serious about the digital photography hobby, uh, you do want to invest in additional lenses and lens filters. Now, lenses that come with kit cameras are, or the kit lenses that come with cameras are generally really, you know, are pretty solid. However, they're not great at either the far telephoto end or the wide angle lens as opposed to something more dedicated for that purpose. So if you want to do wildlife, you want to do sports from the nosebleed, nosebleed sections of the, uh, uh, the baseball stadium, consider getting a telephoto lens. If you want to do architecture, you want to do really wide kind of weird looking shots, you want a wide angle lens. Uh, or if you want to do night shots, you want to consider getting a prime lens. Depending on what you want to do will determine what type of lens you get. Think about what it is, the, the subject matter that you're going to be shooting most often. Exactly. What, what's your favorite thing to shoot and try to get a lens appropriate for that? Exactly. And if you want to try something out, don't want to spend too much money, there are outfits out there in many large cities that let you rent camera lenses. Oh, that's a really so good So you idea. can test out and say, hey, this is something I want to drop 1200 bucks on. Or no, I'm not going to use it this much. I might as well rent it for the one or uh, two times a year I need it. Terrific. Hey, thank you very much. Sure.